I'm Kayla Schifrin, two-time Olympic gold medalist, and you are watching Slab Secrets. We're here at Kids' Choice Sports today. Is this your first time here? It is. Are you looking forward to anyone in particular? Uh, not, not someone in particular. I'm like, I'm excited to see who's here and kind of, I mean, last night I went to the ESPYs and I was like, mm, there's a lot of really, really important, like, famous people in this vicinity, like, within touching distance, and I'm just like, Okay, I feel like a bull in a china shop. I'm like, just don't touch anything and don't touch anybody. And like, they're, these people are worth more than my life. So anyway, so I'm just excited to be here. I'm super excited to be able to shine a light on my score on ski racing and like also have this opportunity to connect with a younger demographic of fans. And how's it been, you know, because coming off the Olympics, it was crazy for you over there. How's the fan reaction been down here in the States? It's been I mean, it's been really positive, and it's like my Olympic experience this year, walking away with a gold and a silver medal was like, it was incredible. And the Olympics, it's always emotional. There's a lot of ups and downs, a lot of triumphs, definitely even some failures. I was competing in multiple events, so like coming back home um, at the end of the at the end of the winter and being able to kind of. Like for instance, getting invited to this and being able to participate in these kinds of things. It's super duper fun. Yeah. And like you said, it's a lot of ups and downs. How did you stay motivated through the whole thing in Pyeongchang? Well, I was motivated because like I mean it's it's the Olympics. And being I was I competed in three different events and I was possibly gonna compete in four or five. There's some schedule changes and I ended up switching my ideas around, but um, I just kind of thought like these are these are each opportunities to medal, each opportunity to show the world what I can do, and I compete from October to March every year anyway. That's our World Cup season, so um, like I'm getting I'm in full time prep right now, even even like even though the Olympics are three years away, but um, or four years away I guess. <laughs> three and a half years, but um, it's. I don't know, it's not so hard to stay motivated because it's just part of the job right now. Like, I have to stay motivated anyway. And how are you preparing for next season? Uh, right now, I have a period of strength and conditioning. So I spend a lot of time in the gym doing, like, hiking, biking, running, intervals, like, super duper fun things like that. Um, and then at the end of this month, I'm going to be traveling to South America to go on snow for a training camp. Yeah. And what's, like, your go-to summer workout this season? Uh, I've spent a lot of time doing squats. And I've, I've gotten pretty, I'm pretty proud of my squats right now. That's a, that's a big one. And we also love secrets. When I interview people, I ask them about secrets. So what's maybe like a secret or fun fact about you that people wouldn't know? Oh, something that people like pe that people actually want to know? I don't think there's any about, anything about me that people want to know. Um, um, yeah, that's a, that's a good. Maybe something about how you got ready this morning? Yeah, I did, I did my own hair. Although Looks good. It was kind of left over from last night, so I didn't have to do very much. I like to do hair. That's, it's not really a secret, but like I love, I love braids, I love like using curling iron, like whatever it is, I love to do hair.